besides being considered two of the most famous singers in the world. The Weeknd and Bruno Mars are two artists who know how to enjoy their wealth. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between The Weeknd and Bruno Mars. So let's fight! Cars! Both singers invest a lot of money in beautiful cars for their garages, but who owns the most luxurious vehicles? One of Bruno's most cherished models is his Cadillac Alanti, an old luxury convertible with a very sporty design for the time, which nowadays can cost up to $40,000. A big Cadillac fan, Mars also owns Cadillac CTS, a more modern and imposing sedan. Its interior has a sophisticated finish, and it is no wonder that its price is estimated at approximately $70,000. The singer has also been spotted driving a Mercedes-Benz G63, a huge car ideal for safe transportation. And despite being a big car, it manages to be quite powerful, which is ideal for Bruno to arrive at his appointments on time. And perhaps this is why its price is around $180,000 and several sources say that the most luxurious car he owns is a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a super stylish large sedan from the German luxury car brand. To own such a car, one may have to fork out more than $460,000. Abel, on the other hand, has been seen in a Porsche 911, a super powerful vintage model. And to buy this car, you have to shell out $75,000. Abel has also been spotted alongside a Mercedes-Benz ECQ, a vehicle he purchased after Mercedes sponsored one of his clips with the same car. It seems that he really liked this luxurious SUV that costs around $77,000. Another car in his collection is the Cadillac Escalade, a beautiful SUV that is worth about $80,000. In the clip from Blinding Lights, he showed off another model from his collection, the Mercedes-AMG GTC, a super powerful machine that can reach over 185 miles per hour. And to acquire this car, it is necessary to pay out $165,000. The singer has also been caught with his ex-girlfriend in a Bentley Mulsanne, a more practical and comfortable model, showing his versatility when it comes to choosing his cars. The vehicle costs about $300,000. Moving up the price a bit more, he owns a Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, a luxurious and very fast model, which accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in a measly 2.9 seconds and reaches a speed of 185 miles per hour. This beautiful machine costs about $570,000. But it doesn't stop there. Abel owns a beautiful McLaren P1, a hybrid and electric motor model that costs a whopping $1,300,000. Not to mention his Mercedes Maybach G650, a pickup truck style car that features a V12 bi-turbo engine. And to acquire such a model, you have to disperse around $1,800,000. So it's clear that the weekend wins this round. Points for him! Luxury Shopping both artists have plenty of money to spend on whatever they want, but which one spends the most? The Weeknd, for example, likes to wear beautiful watches. One of The Weeknd's favorite models is the Rolex Cellini King Midas, a geometric-shaped model that suits Abel's style quite well, and which costs around $17,000. He has also been seen with the Rolex Datejust Onyx model, a classic and timeless model that reflects the personality of the wearer, with a bezel that is always studded in gold, regardless of the model. To acquire this piece, it is necessary to pay the amount of $35,000. Another watch from his collection is the Rolex Day Date 40, an all-gold model that has become popular especially among politicians and is increasingly worn by public figures. The value of this beautiful item is $45,000. But without a doubt their most expensive watch is the Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak, from the Marvel collection, which features the titanium case and purple color design since it has the concept of the Black Panther movie. This model costs around $160,000. Bruno Mars is not far behind. As he is known for being very stylish, Bruno Mars has a unique personality when it comes to being fashionable, being addicted to sunglasses, and being a loyal consumer of brands such as Ray-Ban and William Morris London. Bruno owns a collection of these items, and some models can cost up to $1,200. One of Bruno's favorite clothing brands is Versace, a luxury brand that produces clothes, 
jewelry, and accessories, and the singer is a big customer, wearing some pieces that can cost around $2,200. Another luxury of the musician is his beautiful collection of watches that are part of his unique style, owning pieces such as a Rolex Datejust Steel, one of the brand's entry-level models, is very well made for everyday use and costs around $6,000. He also owns several models of the Rolex President Daydate line, one of Rolex's most famous and richest luxury pieces, all made with 18 karat gold. To get the most expensive of this line, you have to pay as much as $9,000. Another of the singer's beautiful pieces is certainly his Audemars Pichuet Jumbo Royal Oak, an 18-karat gold watch with gold details. To obtain this exclusivity, Bruno had to spend about $230,000. And as if this were not enough, Bruno decided to present his entire team with this same watch model, something that must have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. As both singers spend a lot of money on luxury items, we're going to consider this round a draw. Points for both! real estate when it comes to buying good places to live the two celebrities don't skimp but who has the most luxurious properties like a good countryman mars once owned a beautiful mansion in an area known as portlock beach a prime area of his hometown and although it is unclear how much the singer paid to acquire this mansion some sources have revealed that bruno sold the property for about 2.7 million dollars the singer has also lived in a mansion located in the city of Los Angeles, where he could enjoy a lot of luxury at the beginning of his career. The property has more than 4,000 square feet of living space and offers some amenities, such as a recreational area with a pool. And according to some sources, Bruno Mars' mansion cost around $3.25 million, with speculation that the singer sold the house for much more. Going up in price, Bruno Mars has one of his current homes located in Studio City, in the city of Los Angeles. With 9,000 square feet, the singer's mansion has unique architecture and seems to have enough space to offer luxury and comfort to the singer. The mansion still has spacious and comfortable rooms the way Bruno likes them, well-equipped and without losing the refinement, the singer's brand. For the hottest days, the pop singer still has a huge and luxurious pool to cool off in and have fun with friends. To obtain this incredible residence, it is estimated that the singer has paid around $6.5 million. The weekend is not far behind in this dispute. He once lived in a huge mansion in the Celebrity Hidden Hills neighborhood in the city of Los Angeles, California. The house, which is now owned by Madonna, sits on a 2.9-acre lot, with the main building having approximately 11,800 square feet of living space. Inside, the property has seven beautifully decorated bedrooms, nine bathrooms, a yoga room, a wine cellar beautifully lit by LEDs, a cinema, a bar area, and several comfortable and well-appointed lounges where one can gather friends and relax with their family. The luxurious mansion has several leisure options, with it having a beautiful basketball court, a large fitness space for those who love to take care of their health, a heated and enclosed pool area, fully lit by LEDs, and an outdoor space that has an open pool and a fireplace area to warm up on colder days. The weekend purchased this property for $18 million at the time, but the house was bought by Madonna in 2021 for the princely sum of $19,300,000. The singer has also lived for a while in a penthouse in the Beverly West area of Los Angeles. The modernly designed property boasts 8,000 square feet, featuring four luxurious and spacious bedrooms with floor-to-ceiling windows that allow for magnificent views. In addition, the house has eight bathrooms that feature a few perks, such as windows with vistas, a hot tub, and even a huge hanging sink. The house also has an exquisite bar, a huge wine cellar, and a well-equipped fitness room, as well as a TV room and a place for just enjoying the beautiful view. The weekend bought the venue for $21 million in 2019, but sold it two years later for the small sum of $22,500,000. He also owns a huge mansion in the Bel Air area of Los Angeles. The property has about 1.6 acres of lot, with 18,000 square feet of building area. The house used to have an older style, with a more rustic decoration, having many decorative details and even furniture in darker colors. The lighting and mirrors also contributed to give this vintage look. The place has 8 bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. But when it was bought by the music star, the mansion was already very different and must have undergone numerous renovations. 
The outdoor area is really stunning, and the weekend has even shared several recordings in which one can get to see the dimension of the place, including a video of his dogs playing in the flowers. To acquire this lush property, the singer shelled out some impressive $70 million. Considering the value of the properties, Abel wins this round hands down. Point for him! Aircraft Both artists like to use beautiful aircraft when they need to travel, but which one has the most expensive jet? The weekend has been spotted, for example, on a Boeing 737 BBJ model jet, an executive jet with enormous flying range, reaching over 8,000 miles, the longest range for any 737 model jet of any generation. The aircraft can carry over 160 passengers and features a fully customized interior. To acquire this model, you have to shell out the princely sum of $100 million, but the weekend is likely to be chartering the vehicle, which is still certainly not cheap at all. Bruno Mars, on the other hand, is rumored to have once owned a Gulfstream G550, one of the safest and best-performing private jets in the world, capable of reaching speeds close to the speed of sound. Not to mention its intercontinental range, which allows it to travel long distances without the need to stop for fuel. The interior of the jet is very comfortable and luxurious and can hold up to 19 passengers depending on the configuration adopted. This aircraft is so exclusive that there are only about 100 units of it in the world, and of course, to own one, it is necessary to invest a real fortune. And if Bruno Mars does own this aircraft, he may have invested around $40 million. Assuming Bruno does have a jet, he wins this round. Point for the Hawaiian! Business Both singers also have other sources of income, but who stands out more in business? The weekend is known, for example, for collaborating with various brands and creating exclusive products. The artist has already released, for example, a limited edition electronic cigarette in partnership with the brand PAX Labs. The all-black model with the signature XO costs about $325 a unit, and it's sure to earn the weekend a lot of money. In addition, he has also created a clothing collection with renowned fashion designer Alexander Wong, where the pieces were inspired by the themes of his album Beauty Behind the Madness, and the prices reached up to $575 per unit. However, in 2016, he was named a Puma ambassador and released several collections with the brand, a contract that must not have been cheap at all. Another way to make money with advertising is with social networks. On Instagram, The Weeknd has over 40 million followers, where he can endorse brands and promote his new projects. Not to mention that Abel also enjoys venturing into the world of acting, having even participated in the Adam Sandler movie Uncut Gems. Besides having participated in an episode of American Dad, having voiced characters on the super-famous series The Simpsons and having recently launched their series on HBO Max, entitled The Idol, Bruno Mars, meanwhile, had as one of his first investments in 2013, when he joined as a partner in NJOY, a private e-cigarette company that aims to decrease nicotine use. The singer is also co-owner of Silveray Rum, a rum brand from Panama founded in 2014 that seems to be doing very well on social media. Proof of this is that on his official Instagram alone, he has over 100,000 followers. And for those who want to purchase and try the drinks, you may have to pay up to $140 for each bottle. And to show that he is a Trendsmart investor, Bruno has already invested in the company Chromatic, a music app to help students and musicians compose and create their songs. Recently, Bruno has decided to change his market focus a bit, moving into the fashion industry. Under the name Ricky Regal, the musician has launched a line of 70s-inspired sportswear with Lacoste. And because he is much loved in Hollywood, the musician is always invited to star in some commercials and even participate in the dubbing of some animated films, such as the movie Rio, where he was paid a handsome fee. And because it's difficult to determine the turnover of each business, points for both. Net worth Everyone knows that artists have made a lot of money, but who has the biggest accumulated fortune? Bruno Mars, for example, is one of the best-selling singers in the world at a time when record sales made a lot of money for singers. He has sold more than 100 million copies, which probably earned him hundreds of millions of dollars. Today, with digital platforms, he continues to make a lot of money. But for sure Bruno's biggest income is the concerts he does around the world. 
His 24K Magic World Tour, for example, was considered one of the highest grossing tours of all time. It is estimated that he has grossed more than $380 million from more than 200 shows around the world. This means that each of his concerts made around $1.9 million. And although no one knows for sure how much Bruno Mars' fortune is worth, it is estimated that with all his earnings, the singer's net worth after paying all taxes is around $180 million. Not bad for a singer who is only 37 years old, is it? The Weeknd, on the other hand, is not far behind. One of his biggest able sources of income comes from his concerts. In the year of the tour with his album Starboy, for example, he collected about $1 million in each city where he performed, so his total profit must have been gigantic. With the popularization of the internet, singers are also receiving fees for playing their songs on various music applications, which is a great source of income. To get an idea of the artist's earnings, in 2017 he appeared on the cover of Forbes for having made an impressive $92 million this year alone. Added to all his businesses and hugely successful career has earned him a net worth estimated at $300 million. A very high figure indeed, and one that will only increase. And because he has a bigger fortune than his opponent, The Weeknd wins this final round. Point for him! At the end of this fight, we had 3 points for Bruno Mars against 5 points for The Weeknd, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.